Peace. Welcome back to another episode of See Now You're Learning, Unbox Edition. Today we're gonna be unboxing a pair of Common Project sneakers. So here they are. I ordered these, where did I get these from? I think I got these from Essence. It's a European uh, website. I got the sneaker there mainly because they stock a 47, which is a size 14. And here in America, they'll issue one pair to one outlet, and once they go, they're gone. This is the box for the Common Projects, which is a nice glossy uh, cardboard box with a very thick lid. Once again, you know I love the understatement of Common Projects and anything that's understated or minimalistic. I love that. You just have real basic font at the top. On the side, you have the description of the shoe, which is the original Achilles, and I got them in the light gray, or uh, rather the low gray. All right, and that description is there. We're gonna open these up. Come with a extra pair of laces in uh, the low gray. You got the sleeper for your shoes. I really prefer, because of the size of my shoe, two sleepers, because now I gotta put two big size 14s in there. But you know, those are the tribes and tribulations of having a large foot. On the inside, they miss nothing. They even put the logo on the tissue paper, <laughs> on both sides. And here you have it. Common Projects, Achilles, and uh, Low Gray. This shoe is so dope. It actually, it's one of my, might be my second favorite sneaker of all time. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's nothing to it. It's a beautifully calf skin leather, yeah, Italian made, handmade sneaker. Um, but look, no logo, there's no swish, there's no lines, there's no dots, nothing to the sneaker. Very minimalistic. The toe box is extra small, which is something I really love considering I have a large foot. When you have a large foot and the toe box, which is this area, is elongated, it stands out. It, 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 it enlarges your foot. It makes it look bigger than what it is. And if you're wearing a 14, 15, you don't need your foot to look bigger than that. And with this shoe, most of the shoe is in the back of the shoe in the upper part of the shoe you see from here to here, but the toe is very small. And that, that design, I'm, I think it's excellent because no matter the size of your foot, you give the impression when someone comes up on you that the shoe is not really elongated. You know, it has contrast stitching with the white. I picked the low gray because lately I've been wearing jackets and blazers and this is one of those shoes where you can wear with a skinny sneaker or a skinny uh, jean or you can wear them with a suit, you can wear them with shorts, unlike a triple S where, I mean, you could wear them with a suit, but honestly, this is more conducive with a, a streamlined appearance. A lot of companies are wearing or, or putting out on, as their foxing or their sole, this particular sole. I don't know the, 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 uh, the actual origin of it, but if you notice and if you've worn the Balenciaga arenas, this is the same sole. Um, there's about two other brands that also use this sole. So, but the Common Projects, I mean, they've been around for years. I have another pair of them that I'm gonna pull out, an older pair to show the difference. Um, it's monochromatic, meaning that basically the sole, whatever color, I mean, they're offering now different combinations, but normally whatever your upper, upper sole is or upper vamp is, your sole is gonna match, the laces are gonna match, and you get that real minimalistic uh, appearance to it. There is a stamp here which represents um, the styling, the size, and the color code. So I would imagine 7543 means the low gray, 47 as you know if you follow me I wear 14, I'm always 47, um, and then the 1528 is the style which is the Common Project's Achilles. So there you have it, both shoes out the box, looking nice. They got tissue paper in there. It says 
made in Italy on the inside that's all leather you have the collar is in leather this once again there's no labeling or indication that this is the brand and it's a very narrow shoe if you look at it or high fashion what people will say it's very svelte it's very svelte the two guys that created this brand is a creative a creative consultant and an art director so you know where their mind was at um, I got another pair that I bought maybe about five years ago. I'm going to pull them out. These are the same sneaker in white. I kept them in pretty good condition. And as you wear them, they really conform to your body, to your foot, because the leather is like, it's Napa leather from, Ita from Italy. Um, and they get better as you wear them. My only concern about these sneakers is the sole wears depending on how you wear how your foot is proportioned they wear a little bit at the toe and at the heel a little faster than uh other sneakers so you may want to consider putting taps on there or what have you but these kept up pretty good um yeah so this is my second pair of them these were 13 they were a little snug i had to take out the insole so i could survive because i had to have the sneaker now they're making them in 14. A lot of the ball players are copping them. You'll see them around. Uh, we're going to put these on and you'll tell me what you think about them. There it is. One of my top three, top two favorite sneakers ever. I highly recommend these. If uh, you're looking for a sneaker that you can just rock out in all type of uh, situations, this is a sneaker. You've been to that party where they're like, no sneakers. Yeah, the doorman, he ain't up on these. This is the sneaker that you like, you can get in with them. Especially if you got a color like this or the black because it doesn't have a logo. They can be mistaken as shoes because of the cut. Um, they, they're not really bulky like a traditional sneaker, very streamlined, you know, they remind me of like an exotic car, you know, I love cars, you see that behind you and I, it has a streamline like a, like a Lamborghini or Ferrari, very, very down and low cut, great kick. So if you like what I'm doing here, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a comment, maybe I can get better off of your comments and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. That's how I can keep coming up with new ideas, new videos. Check out the other ones. All right, peace.